What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we have done almost everything I think we want to do. Um, except for, let's rebuild the watermill and repair this. Uh, I think in the last episode I was going to hit end turn, but I'm curious enough that I think I might disregard that order. Uh, but it remains to be seen. We have a rebel rebellion in Naples. Actually, let's repair you. Uh, Mr. Alvarez, you can recruit some extra units. You've got some light infantry mercenaries. Let's go for some African infantry guards. No, you do not. First of all, let's go for some European mercenaries. They'll take some time to get over here, and then we'll get a unit of West African... African Infantry Guards, sorry. Not specifically West African Infantry Guards. Reinforcements for the Navy. Well, I don't think you can all get in there. Oh, slow mode. Speed up. Yeah, I thought as much. Let's add some... Focus on the third rates. Excellent. This second rate can join this fleet, I suppose. Let's repair the steam powered cloth mill. Anticipate some resistance. Well, we anticipated some resistance. Uh, lots of stuff is on the move. Okay, so you're replenishing. You're going back to Mexico. One thing I do want to do is make sure that my... Yeah, you are on your way up here. So you are in London. I'm trying to get rid of... I suppose all we can do is focus on getting rid of religious unrest. I've only got the two mission... The two um, religious agents. We may want to start building some happiness buildings realistically you may continue your march on towards Caracas where a cuirassier general is waiting to meet you we're going to push and attack Martinique once that's done uh, the navy's growing just fine you're probably ripe to be turned into something else your recruitment's ongoing You're being repaired. Let's get a sloop. Yeah, we're already getting one. Excellent. In terms of tech, nothing on the horizon, but we've still got a ways to go. Let's hop over to India. Nagpur is... We could potentially take Nagpur, but I think we... Yeah, priority is just keep, keep getting just more troops of every sort, realistically. We, we, we just need mass. Start churning out troops. Start generating armies, landing on the coast and invading. Let's hit end turn though. More ships for the fleet. I don't think you can actually take any of them. Oh uh, yeah, some of the stuff we've recruited is already on the way to the army in Tunisia. Don't worry, Austria. We're holding the front line against you. We're going to advance in Italy. Once the the rebellion in Naples is put down, we're going to advance on Rome. And I think, well, my economy is really good. I think I'm going to have to start smashing down industry in the Americas to recruit more agents, more religious agents. We can't build anything in the Americas, in the Indian, in India, or in Europe, as far as religious schools goes. So we are going to very much need to uh, <laughs> um, recruit them in the Americas and ship them over. I mean, that army is getting overwhelmed. 
I think they need... They do need support. I mean, we also need to take Königsberg. That would be a great grab. Although now they've garrisoned the port, it's a bit trickier than it would otherwise have been. Not impossible, but just trickier. Although actually for most of Europe it's okay. It's mostly North Africa we need to worry about. Because that's where you start to get uh, lots of... Um, there's a lot of Islam in North Africa. And as you push into... Push eastwards, you get into Orthodox religions. And, and still you've got Islam. And yeah, The Central Europe itself should be less of a problem. I mean, we've still got Prussia as a Polish nation. But you'd like to think that the Austrians have converted a lot of Prussia as much as is practicable. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Shuffling lots of troops around. not actually conducting any offensive operations which is good um <laughs> you have to wonder are they doing a, a massive recruitment in the fog of war that we can't see perhaps yeah i think this is why we need to maintain the pressure against austria as much as we are going to do against india um because this could get very tiresome <laughs> if they if they start doing this every turn, that could get a bit boring. But oh well, uh, if it keeps going on, I'll just start chopping the recording because this is a bit pointless. Okay, I think I'll I think I'll do it now. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back in. And right now, oh yeah, yeah, the Mughal troops can raid as much as they like. We're not bothered about that. Oh yeah, and obviously we need religious agents for India, because we are going to have no Catholicism here at all to help us. But yeah, let's keep keep recruiting, keep pushing troops out. We've got plenty of money. Just Let's just never, never stop recruiting troops. Just keep ramming them out. Raid as much as you like, Naples. All you're doing is burning down your own farms. You're not going to get rid of us. No, sir. And you're not costing us money either, because we've got loads of it. It's fine. If anything, if you burn everything down enough, you'll get rid of the industrialization factor. Fleet arrives. More troops. Luis Gutierrez. You men land at Yanoun. And hold the bridge. Hold the southern flank of Orissa. Yeah, the Mughals have taken Nagpur. To be expected. Hold the bridge. And then boost a raiding, a raiding force somewhere. Actually, that's that would be quite a good grab. Our cot is really valuable. And all we have to do is defend it. Because we can demand the settlement because they have no protection. So if we march on... I don't know why you're going that way. What are you doing that for? Demand the surrender. How did you do that? That's a university. Is it 
Is it just big? Is it... It's, what? Is it just big enough that it's kind of leaked, leached onto the side of the, the river and it counts as somewhere you can invade from? No, it's a... Did you want you repair it? Or when you demolish it, it becomes a pot. What the hell? That's a... That's a, that's screwed up. Okay, let's stack up our raiding forces. Get rid of this. So we can get rid of the university. Yeah, just repair. Repair and start recruiting again. So you're going to help cover the south. You can just go auto-resolve Abhishek Gore. Now the south is secure, you can start to push out from it a bit. Just as you can start to push towards Akbarabad, because that's another good get. Actually, let's yeah, just auto that. These are all um, like forces that have been recruited to try and... Rapidly recruited to try and stop us. Okay, Pizarro. You might threaten Nagpur from the north. Okay, you're recruiting a general, artillery. Let's recruit some mercenaries excellent enemy raid at potenza yeah that's fine construction bengal okay clearances trade port upgrade the mines Got so much stuff to do Not that we really need a lot. Of, like a lot of times in Mexico, if you're short of money, you wouldn't bother upgrading the military infrastructure there because you don't really need it. I don't really need it here. Um, I'm only doing it because I've got Boku dollars. So you get aboard, and then also come over to India. In you get. I'm not sure where your other units are. Oh, they haven't been recruited yet. Another rebellion, or a rebellion in Savoy. Just kill them. Yeah, they can't leave the territory. They're now not. They don't hate us. This army got depleted because it. They, they could have. They within were within range. Along the coast road, uh, maintaining the maintaining the uh, sieges here. That's fine. Two paths blocked. That was e each other. Lots of traits gained. Capuche trading ports. Let's get. Go, sloop can occupy that port. Awesome. When everyone's ready, they can start recruiting. Go capture that island. Other than that, in Europe, you two are also recruiting. Grenadier engineer garrison guards. These armies are just replenishing because they're holding the front line. I mean, you actually are going to fall back because you're quite strung out up here. Here, do we have a reinforcement unit for you? I don't think we do. So you need a unit of Units of cavalry, okay, skirmishers, I think, is what you need. Get some African skirmishers. They'll take a while to get up here, but that will work. We'll actually get some 
Amazons. Oh no. Get some African skirmishes. Okay. So let's hop over to the Americas. Let's say a steam engine factory in my capital. Let's demolish that for a start. Caracas has no towns left anyway. Punda, let's get rid of the steam power cloth mill. I mean, yeah, I suppose I'll, yeah, I'll send a rake over. Okay, we don't really have much of a need to boost our navy even more because our navy is pretty good. But yeah, that should that'll stir them up, especially once it's replenished. We can just start to build a garrison force and hold it and start threatening Mysore. Cool, good, good, good. Okay. So, sorry, so we had no fighting this turn. But I think we're at a point where we're just forming our lines still. Keep on churning troops out here. Name of London. Your your this army's uh, recruitment's at full whack. Excellent. So Austria's going to spend another turn shuffling around. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trouble the recording immediately because otherwise it's going to take way too long. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Yet another river battle. And we are really not in a position to take advantage of it. Because our army is not in a good state. Um, so we're going to decline the attack. <laughs> I just wanted to, bring, wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. There was an opportunity here for something fun. Um, but my armies are not in a good place to do that. This is why you end up needing to have multiple armies just to keep rotating the good ones in the front. The same way as you do in real life. Ooh, the garrison at Milan is sallying. They are welcome to try. Well, yeah. If you have one army at the front line, eventually you're just going to get, you know, the... Uh, you're, even if you keep on, keep winning... Um, you're eventually going to get attrited, and then your forces are going to be too weak, and eventually your front line is going to break. So you're going to need to have multiple armies in the fight to rotate them in and out of the front line to make sure that you've always got uh, a strong front. Interesting. I like over here for a defensive position. My guns are going to be up above my infantry. The bulk of my infantry are going to deploy, be deployed like so. Although, with this ridge line, they'll either come from over here, up, here, up here or around the edge. Oh, this is still fine. Put some Cazadors up here just to drop some stakes. Got all my elites that are going to sit here, ready to deploy on the left. Cavalry hunker down on either flank. But yeah, we're on the defensive, so let's defend. Oh, whoops. Okay, my howitzers. They should be fine. Carabiner pushing up. Unfortunately, I don't want either of them to get my cavalry. Make sure that you guys are running.
Yeah, I need to push them up just to okay, spread the artillery out. Spread my cavalry out. Yeah, they're, they're concentrating towards my artillery. So they're going to put a bro they're going to put a a volley into my carabiner. Push my cavalry forward. They're going to put a volley into my household cavalry. We've got a narrow front, so it minimizes the damage they can do. Heavy artillery attack the light horse. Actually commit just commit my cuirassier into them. My artillery engage. Keep engaging their artillery for now. Jaeger on the way in. Okay, you can now just straight line it behind the line. Maybe I wanted to get them around the stakes. There you go. Now we're in a melee fight. The carabiner are going to go down. I'd really like them to be a bit more like over here. Be a bit more safe behind my line infantry, at least until my cavalry win their respective actions. Because they keep withdrawing, they're gonna my cavalry are gonna be chasing after them for a while. Keep getting my 12 pounders to engage their artillery because they're starting to pound our line. See, stuff like this. I mean, understandably, it's what they do, but it's like, why are my cavalry not pursuing them? Why do they just kind of sit there? Why do my cavalry, even though they have orders to, to attack them, when they just trot away, my guys kind of just stand there and go, ah, shucks. I hear a cavalry charge. Carabiner are up and ready. Like now, like look, why are my guys running away from them? Yeah, just go get them. Here they come. A provincial cav coming in. Like, look, when they keep pulling away, this this engagement goes on for way longer than it should do. There we go. Gunners provide a bit more direct support to the infantry. The provincial cavalry should break. There we go. Cavalry, warm up. Push my regiment of horse up, ready to try smack the garrison militia. But here we go. First, eight infantry units are here. 
Okay, howitzers are getting into position, but they're chasing after my cavalry. That's chasing after their cavalry. Okay, unlimber. We're going to unlimber with quickline shots first and foremost. Good. The core of this infantry push has been beat back. Okay, howitzers engage this unit and uh, this unit. See, so who's back here? Okay, they've got a lot of stakes. Send my cavalry around and start attacking their... Attacking their uh, artillery. New men are going to try and smash the line infantry. It's not going to work, but it'll buy some time. Okay, this flank is going to fall back. We need the firepower of our line infantry. If you can actually kill the... Oh, screw the Hussars. Go for the line infantry. They'll turn around and attack us. See, look, look. Okay, now they, they broke. Okay. Usually what happens, if we run away, they'll chase us. And you think, maybe you should just do that. If they start running away, just you run away. Okay, there we go. Now as they move up on this flank, they're going to start hitting our heavy cavalry formations. Be real careful. Kill the enemy general. That that was a cavalry unit, I believe. Or was it the artilleryman? No, it was cavalryman. Cool. Be careful. I mean, it's pretty good that they put all these stakes around. They might not necessarily be the best placed. But they work. There we go. The general's coming in again. They're engaging my light infantry. And they've mown them down. Okay, you men advance. Because they're just out of range. Howitzer's fire, howitzer's fire. Okay, let's... Yeah, my curiosity, yeah, understandably, they broke. Try to get my heavy cavalry, my household cavalry back. There we go. Withdraw immediately and directly. Marines coming in. Okay, I think we're going to end up fighting a large amount of this battle on with time compression on. Oh yeah, there's a Curiosier unit. Bring my, bring my cavalry back. Oh yeah, that infantry is done for. But yeah, let's just let the reinforcements come in. I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to let them march towards me. Engage the curiosity. Yeah. As they come in. Ooh, actually, no. Regiment of horse, yeah. Get back. Don't worry about fighting them. Go on, how it says. Give them a sh give them a volley as well. 
Although they might hit the stakes. I think they are. Yes. You idiots. Nice job cutting the corner. <laughs> Quick lie. Now oh, the Marines have suddenly gone, oh no! <laughs> Things have gone really bad. We need to speed up. I'm probably going to get my photo to focus on the Marines coming in at the back. You're all going to form up. Okay, yeah, engage these marines. Classic marines. Quick climb coming in. Excellent. Thank you for moving right when you did. Excellent. And then it's all on 40th foot guards. That was the 41st that we just killed. When the marines get within range, they can get a good douse of quicklime as well. There we go. Poor souls. If they make it to our front line, then we'll slow it down. But if they don't... Oh, quicklime coming in. 96. Yeah. 84. Nice. Very nice indeed. killed the reinforcing army the garrison of Milan is that much uh weaker yeah we can handle that uh do you want to intercept their army uh no <laughs> just because it would auto resolve and damage my other army as well i'm content for this to be a slower one a slower front yeah we'll defend against the um garrison at genoa pushing out uh, but yeah, because we've not stabilised Naples, we don't have to worry about pushing too quickly in northern Italy. Um, next, we will want to push on to siege Venice, and that will start to open up uh, the southern front uh, against Austria, which could get pretty dicey. Okay, so... When you're defending against garrison do not deploy forward if they've got mortars because a they will do a huge amount of damage just deploy back use your firepower yeah just deploy back and use your firepower really that's all there is to it don't worry about um trying to take the city because it doesn't have any impact on the battle itself just defend Isn't there literally no one in range of my howitzers yes yeah, so they've got more to cruise but eventually they'll get the memo and realize that actually we're no good here we have to abandon our guns if you want to get involved there they go see just like that Then what can be quite spiffy to do with howitzers quick line the gate because as they try and march out of it you'll get some good kills they're only going to place it play on time compression while they advance up you might better kill all of their gunners in one go here yeah timing of the shots was off but we might kill a bunch of their infantry they didn't, they didn't come out, sadly. Killed some of the gunners. Yeah. Let's let them get out of the... Get out of the uh, city. In reasonable numbers before we worry about... Uh, reducing the time compression and watching things happen. I mean, that could be not terrible. I think the problem is it's just... They're just not... They're not quite in... in uh, yeah, they're not quite in the best spots. Yeah, 
here we go. Get all my guns focus on the eight. Where's my cavalry here? Cuirassier, go out wide. The gunners just want to start stabbing people. They look, they're probably going straight for my artillery. But they're going to have to break through my line to get it. Yeah, actually, let's focus my howitzers on the flank. Because the center isn't going to be a problem. Good hits, good hits. My, my infantryman is going to pop up and gun down the field artillery. Send them scuttling back. See, these Genoese thought they could stand against us. They thought wrong. They're charging. The officer stands. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. It's a bad idea. So everyone has to reload. Although, they have shrunk their front line. So let's fold our front line in. Um, citizenries charging in. I can, I'm sure I could hear someone screaming for a bayonet charge. Garrison guards, perhaps? But yes, even though I'm pushing up line in, light infantry and all sorts. There we go. Oh, yeah, I hear bayonet charges. The quick lines coming in. The foot artillery is coming in. The light infantry is going to start annihilating the men on the flank. Curacier here to mop up anyone that breaks but doesn't shatter. Shooting. Okay. Be a bit more sensible with how I lay these out. Artillery engage. How oh, it says engage. You men actually just run around the back. Good quick climb shot would do real wonders here. Oh, misfire. Oh, we got charged. Yeah, let's just run past them. Go off the firelock armed citizenry to make sure they're broken. mission is to make units shatter. Yeah, they're already running to go after my cavalry. It's like, oh no! See what the quick climb has to say about you. And you, I suppose. Okay, make sure. Yeah, you guys have to both go after the fourth, because right now they're spread out. I want to shatter them. Let's make the pathfinding easier by ad allocating more cavalry. unit to carry on to attack this regiment. Yeah, 
All the quick time anarchy against the fish. Seventh regiment are going to go down. Yeah, you might have light infantry engaging you. They're very good light infantry. Second rank. Oh, you've already fired. There we go. Excellent. You men form up against those that are coming out of the gates. You guys. Plus you fold in against the flank of those units. Yeah, you get over here. Everyone group. Provincial Cav are on their way. Foot artillery. Make a breach. How it says make a breach. You men scale the wall. Take them a heavy cavalry versus their very light cavalry. We'll make short work of them. Sixth Regiment is standing, but they're about to get eviscerated by musket fire from the brave colonials on the hill. The true Catholics. Uh-oh. See? Now we're going to fire back. The human scale the wall, and I can send my cavalry in to go take out the artillery. There we go. You men are getting cut down. Actually, you guys might have to go after the. First of all, we've got some enemy artillery trying to get out the gate. Let's make sure they don't go anywhere. Okay, they're wavering. Broken. So the gate's about to be ours anyway. Provincial Cav are running, retreating back inside. Fourth Regiment of Line Infantry is still here. See, this is what I mean about making sure units route. Look how frustrating is that? They've got made it all that way and they've decided, actually, we are going to fight. There you go, the gate's ours. Charge our cavalry in. Get our infantry. Form a new line. You men maintain your positions against that infantry unit. Skirmishes. You can come up here and start trying to skirmish if you like, but actually the heavy cavalry are going to deal with them. So you men can skirmish the gate. You men quick line the gate. Cavalry, smash the fourth. There you go, the general, general's bodyguards making themselves visible. We've got their artillery though. We should start, yeah, we're starting to pick off their staff officers.
Kill the horse artillery. There we go. Continue to attack the fourth. My hussars can go after the general's bodyguard. Brave souls, but you have failed your people. couple of gunners, well, some of the gunners, horse teams are getting out, that's fine. Go get them! See, they're doing it again, but well, they're just going to withdraw, or keep withdrawing. So even though my cavalry have orders to attack and pursue, they will elect to just kind of sit there and not do that. Where is the enemy general? There he is. He's fighting off one of my hussars. Don't let them get away. Got him. Excellent. Well, that was a bit awkward. Still though, a victory it is. Nice. Good win. Severiano Gagliano versus Sebastian Monino. Okay, here comes the Marathas. Ooh, a Marathan Navy. Fun. Ooh, here comes a lot of Marathan troops. Okay, that's a lot of Marathan troops. Uh, withdraw. Uh, do I want to intercept them? Yes, I do. Damn right. Yeah, I think that pincer in the north, they may have to fall back. But the good thing is that if they're deploying lots of troops eastward against us, it means they're losing troops in the west. So as we recruit new armies to invade India, their cities behind them will be weaker and more susceptible to capture. Okay, so my foot artillery, you are explicitly focused on their, their artillery. Here, it's quite interesting because we've got two fords. They could, in theory, go for either of them. So let's actually make this a bit more equal. Okay, then leave a bit of a cavalry reserve. And my howitzers just start firing round shot for now. they're going for I'm not sure which one they're going for actually at the minute either way we've got a reasonable amount of time set up I'll even dismount my dragoons all right here they come There goes the enemy guns. Engage whatever you like. Siladar lances. hits against the camel nomads. Yep, now we can just artillery the bejesus out of them. The 
4th Grenadier Regiment is going to put some shots into the Siladar Lancers. Excellent. Okay, let's warm up. Colonial Dragoons. Because they can do firing drills as well. Excellent. In terms of quick line, we've got really good range here actually, so just start quick liming their infantry instead. There's the Polygar. Throw on two units against the Polygar. Because they're good cavalry. Heavy cavalry. Mercenaries are gone. That's right. Advance into range. Oh, they're charging. Yeah, they are. Well, they're going to get engaged by some of my infantry already. A few artillery rounds coming in. They're already wavering. They're broken. Shattered. Ooh, artillery. Okay, actually, let's get light cavalry to go over there and sort out their guns. Camels are wavering. Yeah. Bad idea. They decided not to continue that. <laughs> More carnage. Go get the 24 pounders. There goes the musketeers. Retarget their other units. They're not even going to make it to the bridge. Well, they're not going to make it across the ford, that's for darn sure. Come on, try and make it across. That's... Oh, they're forming up. Okay, they're going to cross over. Quick climbs hit them, obviously. Kill the gunners. Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to cross? Because if you don't, Quicklime is going to get you. Let's bring my General over. Let's bring my Tribal Auxiliary over. Okay, focus my Quicklime on the Armed Peasantry. If we can get them to break, if we can get them to break, the rest of them will fall. There we go. Do you want to cross? Hell yes, we do. Uh, cease fire the artillery. There we go. Cut them down. So we might not necessarily kill whole units, but we will do a lot of good damage. Might be able to kill this peasantry unit. that will be pretty slick if we can. Uh, I want all of you guys to be involved. That way we can, again, optimize pathfinding. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Good opportunity to get some good kills. 40 men lost for 100, well, 1,600 of theirs. Yep, I think we want to <laughs> all those units back at Calcutta.
lest we get overwhelmed. Yeah, rebel's gonna rebel. Once I can go, I'm gonna quickly go for a pee. Yeah. All right. Enemy raids. Yeah, they raided on the way up. That's okay. You men replenish. Uh, you men pull back. Okay, let's prioritize reinforcing Katak. I mean, you have a possible opportunity here to get a lot of really good kills. You need. Well, if I do that, you can fall back to this side of the river. And you men can stand on it. If they run past us, that's okay. We'll just keep falling back. Um, just keep recruiting. Construction. Okay, we definitely want to keep on with the construction. Quite. quite Right. So I can't build one there, that sucks. Can't build one there, that sucks. Why can I not build one in my own region? Huh. Don't know. Okay. So, dra Dragoon plus infantry is useful. Militia, not so much. You guys will be useful soon. Um, we want to make sure we very much focus on recruiting what we can here. Well, a load of infantry, first and foremost. So, the, the, the knee-jerk reaction is to focus on going after... going over here. To fight. That's the knee jerk reaction. The other way to do it, I think, is to. Yeah, see, somehow they put university on a port. It's dumb. Um, it's not necessarily a massive center, but can we grab Ahmad Nagar? Or we just land another army near our cot. Oh, Juddery. I mean, you can't actually leave your territory because people are unhappy with you. I think we might be better served landing at our cot and using it, using this force to bolster our offensive. Okay, and because their territory is quite susceptible to upset, let's try and demolish the Raja's observatory. If we can do that, lose some of this government repression, they might get a rebellion in here. So that will be really interesting. Unless you've got two agents, we can try again. Well, there we go, next turn. Next two can try again. Okay. Yeah, but you just keep recruiting. Full on. Do not stop. Okay. Mass of troops. Oh no, I didn't know where that. Okay. That was you, Jerome Cotton. Back to Cinemary for repairs. Yeah, we know the enemy agents up to no good. Okay, you're officially no good. So when they recruit like that, they are stuck and you can't get them back until the city um, is. City is taken. 
You need... I think that was probably a... That plus... Eh, get some 12s and 24 pounders. Why not? Then get another general and start again. Although Philadelphia is now 192 people in the entire the entire area. Recruit a bunch of infantry. Keep the pressure on. Uh, you're nearly back into Mexico. Okay, good. In Europe, we're doing the same thing. You're now up to full strength. You're up to full strength. This army needs five more infantry, and then they're done. And then we can just start immediately recruiting the next. Make sure our ministers are as reasonable. Oh, yeah, our, our, our ministers are pretty good. Make sure these armies are replenishing. Troops to the south. Yeah, they're on the way to reinforce this army. Oh, you're going the other way. Right, right, right. Let's not cross wires here. You may deploy to India. Because we're at that moment where if we can just boost our forces a lot faster than they can and start landing everywhere along the coast, they won't be able to respond fast enough. Okay, let's just start the recruitment. Just the one, one general, actually. You're also on the way to that army on the coast. That's fine. You're marching up to support the front line. Okay, let's... Cause they like, okay, just in case they give us an opportunity like that again, let's make sure we keep plenty of troops near that front line. You need some skirmishes. You can't get any, not until we get advanced, some more advanced technologies. So apart from that, let's get a unit of fusiliers. That's six units. You can have eight more. Let's get two more units of line. Cool. I mean, yeah, here at here at Arcot, just start recruiting an army that we can use to garrison. Um, garrison the city and defend it while we try and push out. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone.